Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So whenever you try to access OneDrive in File Explorer and when you try to access OneDrive or any of the folder in OneDrive and if it is very slow, the response is very slow, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So to fix it, first of all copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. So copy this command and then type in CMD in Windows search box and then make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. This will close OneDrive in your computer. Once this is done, you can close this and then now install app installer. So you can copy this link. The link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft store website over here you will see install option to install app installer so click on it and then it will prompt you to open microsoft store so click on open microsoft store if app installer is not installed in your computer you will see install option if app installer is already installed in that case you will not see install button so in my case app installer is already installed so if you see install button or get button install it if you don't see the install button that means it is already installed now once that is installed now go to this location so open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder and then open app data folder if you don't see app data on the top click on view select show and then Put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder now open the local and then microsoft so open the local folder now find microsoft folder open the microsoft folder now find onedrive so go to onedrive folder open onedrive and then open setup folder and then open logs folder and over here you have to delete these three files user telemetry cache dot otc so find this here you can see user telemetry cache dot otc make a right click and then click on delete if you want to create a backup like if you are afraid then in that case you can just copy this file and you can just create a backup of these files once you create a backup, you can make a right click and then click on delete. Once this this is deleted, now find user telemetry cache dot otc dot session. If you have this, I in my case, I can, I don't think I have it. If you find it, you can delete it. Let me check in the search option. Also, you can search. So I don't have this. So if you have it, delete it. Now find parent telemetry cache dot otc. If you find it, then you can you can search it over here. Now, if you find it, you can make a right click and then click on delete. Or you, before you delete, you can just if you want to create a backup, you can create a backup. So if something wrong happens, you can always restore these files. So just for now, you can delete delete this for fine. Now, once so this is deleted now. It's not there anymore. So once these three files are deleted, now uninstall and reinstall OneDrive. So copy the first command and then type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell, then click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow, paste the command, hit the enter key. This will uninstall OneDrive from your computer. Now, once the uninstall is complete, now copy the second command. This command is also provided in the video description. Copy this command. And on the same window, once successfully uninstalled, now you can paste the second command. This will install OneDrive on your computer. Or you can even go to OneDrive website and if you want to install it from OneDrive website, like you can go to Google and you can just 
in the Google search, you can type in OneDrive uh, download. Just type in OneDrive download. In Google search, you can type in and then you can even download OneDrive from Microsoft website. But you can run this command. So here you can see successfully installed. Now once OneDrive is successfully installed, you can restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. Restart your computer and after the system restart, you can open File Explorer and then you can access OneDrive and that should be fast. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.